one. So here is a set of nails. <gasps> Look at them. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> so my lady had been to an NSS. She's actually in the beauty industry. She should know better. As you can see, she had a bit of a boo-boo. One of her nails had actually been previously ripped off by a set. Um, and she was so desperate to have another set of nails. Instead of just waiting for the nail to grow back, she went to an NSS. So she then came to me. Um, so um, I'm just going to have a bit of a ramble um, before I kind of like, I'll just leave the video playing. You can see what I'm doing. Um, I see a lot of people when they say about like NSS or other people's work and stuff like that, they will turn people away and tell them they need to go back to where they got the nails done, have them taken off, and then they can come to them. Now, this has never made sense to me because that's basically saying I don't want your business. If you aren't e-file trained, I could understand how an NSS takeoff can be a massive pain in the bum. But it is our job to try and educate people and to show them how good nails can be um, and how a true professional works. So I always have the attitude, I always say to people, for insurance purposes, I need to remove your previous set and put my own products on, which is true. Whether you go to an NSS or whether you go to someone down the road who uses the same products as me, at the end of the day, my um, client consultation form clearly states the health of the natural nail. So I need to see that before I can work on a client. So I will always put on a client consultation form, removal before applying my own products. So if, you've, if you're e-file trained, like I always say, it's five pounds every 15 minutes. So I can normally get an NSS set off within 30 minutes. So they've only got to pay a tenner to get it off, which is pretty good, really, considering how annoying MMA acrylic is. So that's basically what I did. Um, I said, if you can come to me, I can get your nails taken off, put a whole new set on with my products, and they'll be gone. So I've removed her previous set, filed down to a really thin layer, wrapped in acetone and foil, and then scraped it all off. Um, and then I've done natural nail work prep. I've been as gentle as possible. I obviously need to etch the nail plate to be able to have acrylic stick to it. But I've been super, super, super gentle because I know that her nail plate, nail plate will already be pretty damaged and, and quite delicate. So I don't want to add to that damage, but I just wanted to rough up that surface so it's got something to stick to. I applied my tips. On the little finger, I applied a thin clear base. I applied this gorgeous glitter, which is honeycomb. No, it's not. This is it's honeycomb. No, it's not a sticky toffee. Sticky toffee from the caramel collection. Um, I let that set into place and then I'm capping in clear. And on the ring finger, as you can see, I've already created my smile line and that's with rosy peach and clear acrylic from the HD collection. I'm just going to let that set up while I'm um, capping this nail because I want to file that in before putting my white on. I just realised I hadn't actually kept them clear. So um, I've applied my cover pink and then I'm coming in with my clear. I tend to create my structure with clear because I want these to look as natural as possible. So I will apply um, the clear so that near the cuticle area it looks a little more natural and not too mannequin-y. Um, but I'm still looking to get that same shape and structure as I usually do and keep that nice crisp smile line. I'm then going to do exactly the same on the next finger.
then going to use a fresh file. This is a 150 grit, 180 grit even. Um, it's 150, yeah. And then I'm going to push against that acrylic and just file these smile lines and nice and crisp. Remember to push against the acrylic, not down onto the tip. But I always file in my smile lines and make sure you get the really nice crisp line between your pink and white. Um, and always make sure you dust away everything before you then apply your white. And when I apply my white, I want to get a nice big bead because I want to try and get it all done in one bead to avoid getting any shadowing if I have to add numerous beads. I'm not worried about going over the pink because, again, I filed in that lovely crisp smile line. So when I file through this, it will come through. And I just want to make sure that I get right up into those wings and create a lovely, nice, sh uh, nice shiny white tip. And then on the pointy finger, I'm going to apply glitter acrylic and then I'm coming in with Toffee Apple, which is a multi-cut from the Caramel Collection. I'm applying that at the tip and then I'm going to blend up. I just realised, oh, can you see all that stuff under my nails? This is the under nail people brigade will be coming out now. So wind your necks in. I've just done an MMA removal. So yeah, um, that's what's under my nails. And the acetone makes it all stick. I'm going to... I obviously then we'll scrub the hell out of the underneath of my nails but it'll still stick around because it won't leave um so yeah before anyone complains about what's under my nails someone who's clearly never worked as a nail tech is all i can say when people get upset about dust on the nails for god's sake oh went on a rant there um and then i'm going on to the thumb and i'm going to do the same as i did for the pinky finger so i'm just going to put that super fine all over Going back to that pointy finger, applying cover pink and blending down over that glitter. And then capping that entire nail in clear.
and then just doing that final smile line. And then doing exactly the same thing on that other hand. And then on the exit fingers, I'm just going to add a little bit of one stroke. I'm really pushing myself to try and do a little more one stroke because I'm really out of practice. So just doing these on um, as many clients as I can at the moment. All the paints, brushes and everything are from Hazel Dixon. But I am just doing like literally the simplest one stroke on here. <laughs>
then I'm going to apply top coats to all of those nails, making sure I double top coat um, the ones with one stroke on. And then using this gold, I think this is the champagne gold from Accents Gel Glay, just adding some accents on to the petals and then onto the light pollen, and then adding a few little swirls in here too. And then these will be cured for, I think I do this 90 seconds normally in my LED light. And then when we're all done, just applying some cuticle oil. <laughs> my dog is snoring very loudly in the background, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. And we're all done. And I think you'll agree that my lady came and went away with far superior nails to the ones she turned up with and if you will take on an nss client you will have them for life when they see what you can do so there we have it a fantastic nss transformation so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope to see you all again soon bye